Welcome back everyone, Crowthal is here and today we're going to go ahead and tackle UCE Monster Waypoints. We're going to go ahead and get that import into our project. So Monster Waypoints. Alright, so pretty straightforward. Uh, it gives us the ability to add waypoints for our monsters to utilize to move around in a nice patrolling manner or to roam around uh, aimlessly depending on how you uh, see fit instead of just standing or just only being aimlessly wandering and near their spawn point. So now we got import, let's get that readme open. All right. And now this one has one core change we gotta do. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna go ahead and jump down here to scripts and find our monster. Open that bad boy up and give it a hot second. All right. There we go. So we need to find this one section. So let's go ahead and copy that and do a find for it. There it is. And let's just replace it with our blue text. So let's grab all that and just paste that in, save, and let it compile. All right. So we can go ahead and collapse this up. And there's a prefab in here. This isn't required. It's just a quick reference piece uh, for the waypoints just to make your lives easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. We're going to use this for free skeleton we made earlier. I'm just going to set down some waypoints for them. So drag this in and just place it down. And the reason I have this here is if you click on it and click and check the mesh render, it'll show the object. So now we have our waypoint. And I can come in here and just keep dragging these all the way around. I just want this bad boy to go around this like so. There you go. So now you see I have all my waypoints in here. And then if you go into your prefab again you can uncheck mesh render and they'll hide so they won't see them in the game. You can leave them on for testing purposes if you want so that you can see that they're hitting all the points which is what we're going to do, and then we'll turn them off and see the same thing happen. So I'm going to go ahead and move these waypoints. I'm going to put them in order, uh, just because it's going to make my life a little easier in a moment here. So now it's this one here all the way around a circle. So let's go to that skeleton that's afraid that's right here. And I'm just going to position him uh, roughly on top of the first point. You don't have to. You can keep him over here. He'll run over here. Uh, but I wanted to make it relatively clean-ish. <laughs> Alright, so on here, let's go ahead and find where the monster waypoints are, which is right here. And you have the option here to tell it uh, your waypoints, the patrol, to stick to your last waypoint, and the ratio between waypoints and random movement that's already in uh, UMRPG here. So, patrol is going to mean, if this is checked on, he's going to follow his patrol path. If stick to last waypoint is turned on, once he reaches that last waypoint, he's then just going to random move from there. That's his new spawn location. And then I'm going to check that off because I just want him to use the patrol. And then the option here is, is he only going to move using waypoints or are they going to move only randomly or a, a mix in between? So you can change this how you want, 0 to 100%. Uh, 0 percent is only waypoints, 100 percent is only random. If you did 50 percent, half the time they'll use the waypoint and half time they'll move randomly from that point. So if they was randomly moving he's way up here, but he's told to go to the next waypoint, he would then come down to it. Uh, just so it helps give a little bit more variety. But for the sake of this, I'm only going to do waypoints to show functionality. All right, so I'm going to expand waypoints. you can see I have nothing in here. Now this takes a flat game object for its transform. So you can use almost anything, uh, so if you have like signs or posts or fencing uh, in your game or road pieces like this, you can use those transforms to help ease how many waypoints you put up. I like having the waypoints just because it is a little cleaner so I can easily find where they're going. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I locked this on so it doesn't go away. So I'm going to click on the first waypoint and then hold shift and get the rest of them. And we're just going to drag them in and drop them right on top of the word waypoints and there you go now they're all added now from this point 
we should be good to go. Now you can do whatever you want with these waypoints as long as they stay within the scene and at these coordinates. So a couple options could be if you wanted to make another uh, object for waypoints and you can hide them away that way. Um, don't put them on the skeleton itself though because they will move with the skeleton and then things are going to get real funky real quick. So there's a lot, you can organize them almost any way as long as they're not on something that's moving so they don't move as well. All right. So let's go ahead and hit play. And there we go. Uh, we'll grab this one. I believe he's closer. Nope, he's in a terrible spot. All right. But we'll watch this guy down here. You can see him in the corner of our eye, hopefully. All right. Let's see if he starts wandering around. And let's click on him. Make sure we have patrol on. Oh yes, that's right. We have him set so he can't move. So move probability. Make sure he's allowed to move. So I'm gonna put him at 100, percent and I can see he'll just keep running between these because he's at 100. percent And then you're able to change this variety as well. So you could go ahead and say he's only gonna move a little bit, uh, or only once in a while. So if I go on like 30 percent, yeah, I'm still here. He'll move. He'll stay there for a little bit until it tells him he can move again. Then he'll go to the next waypoint. And that's quite literally it uh, to waypoints. They're super simple. Allows you to give a little more control, have guards patrolling down the roads, to monsters being a little bit more uh, flexible instead of just running around. So I will catch you in the next one.